Hello my friends and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'll be your host Jared Bronstein and before we start today's video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and click that bell so you can have the answers before anyone else. As always, make sure you drop some comments below with a question you'd like answered or even thoughts on this video. I'll be responding to some comments from a previous video after we get to the bottom of the following question. What would happen if pigeons went extinct? So join me as we go on the journey of how the extinction of these pestering little birds, who always seem to be in my way, would affect our world as we know it. So pigeons. They poop everywhere. They walk weird with their heads going back and forth. And they like to get real close to you until you quite literally almost step on them. Accidentally, of course. But believe it or not, they actually are quite vital for our entire ecosystem. As crazy as it sounds, pigeons really do take care of a lot of work behind the scenes. Think I'm full of it? Here's a question for you to answer. Where do all the dead pigeons go? Really think about it. How could the city clean up pigeons so often but leave roadkill? It just didn't make sense. Turns out, dead pigeons are considered food for a ton of animals, or rodents if you will. From stray cats, to hawks, to even tortoises, I know it sounds crazy but I found a video of it, look it up, these multicolored birds seem to be vital for many different species. So if they were to go extinct, who knows how it could affect those who feed on them. I mean. I think the tortoises will be okay, as pigeons aren't a regular part of their diet. But for larger birds such as hawks, owls, and even stray cats, they might have to find new sources of food. And if they have trouble doing that, we might see a ripple effect take place down the line. But pigeons are also known to carry disease, so maybe the extinction of them wouldn't be so bad after all. Well, although they carry more than 60 types of pathogens, according to Terminix.com, these diseases usually aren't fatal to humans. But they could be fatal if they infected another type of animal that humans eat on a regular basis. Again, that chain effect comes into mind. Here's an example. A diseased pigeon is eaten by a hawk. That same hawk goes after a chicken in a coop, but the farmer fends off the hawk to save his chickens. Some of the chickens were attacked, or maybe infected, although they aren't killed, still they are infected by the disease. Now the chicken's eggs are potentially affected as well, and the chicken itself. As much as we don't want to believe they would still be served as food, you never really know what goes down. We just trust what we get at the supermarket, or our local market, is fresh and disease free. 99% of the time? It is, but there's always the smallest possibility it isn't. Now before you guys worry that all your poultry is infected, I wouldn't be all that concerned. The odds of a hawk attacking a chicken and not getting away with some food is slim to none. These things usually end up getting what they want. But another possibility is the lack of food for these birds or stray cats could lead to us fearing for our pets lives. Literally, a hungry hawk wouldn't have an issue picking up a small dog, for instance, if it really needed to eat that badly. Maybe you put your dog out on the leash and run to the bathroom. That's more than enough time for a desperate bird to get its food for the day. Again, unlikely, but a possibility to say the least. Same goes for raccoons, coyotes, foxes, even wild ferrets. Now depending where you live, you may see more of one animal than the other, or none of them at all. But if that's the case, there most likely aren't very many pigeons where you live anyway, so the extinction of pigeons probably wouldn't affect you personally all that much. Of course, when the carrier pigeon, you know, the ones that would literally be responsible for sending handwritten messages to people, went extinct, it wasn't all that big of a deal because people weren't using them as often. The telephone had become a thing, and as a society, we kind of just found a way to adjust to life without them. Fortunately, aside from, of course, some animals who prey on these little fellows for food, I don't think the extinction of pigeons would necessarily have catastrophic effects on Earth as we know it. But pigeons are known for being quite intelligent. So much so, they were being used as a part of Project Sea Hunt, a Navy-run project that saw pigeons identifying red or yellow life jackets floating in the water. This led some researchers to believe they could be used to help save those who are stranded due to a capsized or sinking boat. In a quicker, more efficient way compared to that of the human eye, pigeons can see colors the way we do, but also have the ability to see ultraviolet, a part of the spectrum we as humans can't see. This factors into the belief that they could be used to help stranded sea lovers, in the worst case scenario, that they are left floating in the middle of the ocean, for example. But most pigeons seem to have a lifespan of six years or so, meaning that they have to be recycled quite frequently to be used effectively. But let me say, before you guys stop putting your dogs on the leashes out front and running to the washroom, there is such an abundance of pigeons in New York City alone that I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, you should never really leave a dog unattended for other reasons we won't get into, but fear that a large bird will see your pup as prey shouldn't be at the top of your list. Now as always, I'd love to hear what you guys think about pigeons in general. If they went extinct, would it really be that of a tragedy? Or would you cheer yourself to sleep at night? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. While you do that, I'll be responding to some comments from the video. What happens if you eat rotten chicken? Candace Carter said, please do more health video. Good work on the video. Candace, I really appreciate that. It's definitely a suggestion we'll take into consideration. We do all types of videos, obviously extinction videos, as well as some far-fetched videos. I'm actually working on one right now. That's, <laughs> it's a funny video. I'm not gonna tell you guys, obviously, which one it is, because we're gonna save it for a little bit later, but uh, it has to do with one of my favorite cartoons being a real person. So, there you go. 
Chris Johnson said, I couldn't tell if Jared called Jack a fun guy or a fun guy, LOL. I said fun guy. It sounds like fun guy, but fun space guy. If you guys don't know what I was referring to, I was referring to Kawhi Leonard when he joined the Raptors and the reporters asked him to tell Toronto a little bit about himself and he really didn't know what to say. He just said, I'm a fun guy. So I was just referencing that. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you look up Kawhi Leonard laugh and you'll see the whole thing go down. But to clarify, yes, Jack is a fun guy and a fun guy. A lot of you guys said something about the hunger effect, which I had to look up, but it's from Minecraft. Apparently if you eat rotten flesh or chicken or something, you get the hunger effect. I don't play Minecraft, guys. I play mostly Xbox. I play World of Warcraft too sometimes, but Minecraft, nah, B, that ain't for me. But if you guys wanna educate me on what the hunger effect is, let me know in the comments down below as well, because I'd, I'd love to, to learn more. We teach you guys some things, it's time for you guys to teach us some things. Anyways guys, that'll do it for this video. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. If you guys enjoyed the video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you guys in the next video.